All right, let's talk about this Falcons unique run game from Sunday. Let's start here with Zacchaeus. He's going to come across in motion, and what we're going to run is just a little toss sweep. Now, this motion is critical. Talk about the creativity in all this man's offense. This motion is critical because it forces this DB to go outside. If you go back a little bit, this DB starts right at the front. He starts here, so now he's contained. But when you bring that motion across, it forces him to widen it. Now that the play gets started, you got a nice toss sweep by Cordell Patterson here. Now watch the good blocking up front. Nice double team. Nice job of Dalman ceiling right here. But the guy I want you to pay attention to, this offensive line is playing some really good football to start. Chris Lynch on the backside. He's already fighting the guy at the line of scrimmage, but this is the guy he has to reach. CP's going to get a nice alley through here, but if it's not for this backside effort, of Chris Lindstrom cutting off this guy, there's no way CP gets through this alley. The play continues, boom, look at that, look at Lindstrom laying out to get this block, and now because he gets this block, this guy could have easily made this play if he doesn't use the extra effort to get there. Now it's a five-yard game, but a nice job of seal block here, nice job of finishing here, and look at these guys pancaking guys right here on the offensive line. You got to run off to get him out of here, and now watch CP finish. Vision, athleticism, and that's why CP Average 8.3 yards of carry, and the Falcons rushed for 179 yards of the game because of his effort. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm DJ Shockley. This is Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. People always ask, why don't you ever go back to the good plays in the ballgame? Well, here's a particular play the Falcons are going to run with CP, and it's another good job of blocking your front, but it's the play design. The big guy here, the fullback, he's going to run this, what we call just a wine black kind of zone run here. When he winds back, this is the guy to watch because he's going to shoot this gap here, but because he sees his wine back, he ends up getting back across. But because of the good block in your front, watch the wine back action here. Comes back across, boom. Now you get this wine back action. Good job of sealing off the backside edge by Hess. You got a nice double team here. Nice job of a double team here. You're going to get a nice block on the outside. And look at this. They got everybody sealed up. You're going to get up to the next level and watch the wine black block here. Boom. Here's your fullback getting up on that backer who tried to come over the top. And now look at all the room that CP has on this backside to cut back on this wine black block. And it's a nice, good run here on first down. You get six yards, five, six yards on first down. All right, here's the exact same play. You're going to get the same action from the fullback, a wine back kind of motion here. And here's that same linebacker that I talked about in just the last clip. Now, you remember, the Falcons broke this out for a nice run on the backside for about six, seven yards. Now, he's going to be so concerned with getting to this backside, he doesn't even see that this is his alley to cover. Now, watch the, the wineback motion. Watch this linebacker in the middle here. Here's the wineback motion. Fullback coming across. Look at his eyes. His eyes are looking at this fullback. He should be filling this gap. But because the Falcons were so successful in this run, coming back this way, he is trying so hard to get back over the top. Now you get an easy block by the center. Nice seal here on the upside here. And then you get a nice just seal block on the outside. And watch the crease you get here because he sees this. And then the vision of CP to go here. This should, this should go back this way. But because this linebacker is so concerned with getting over the top on this run. And now you hit it and you got, look here, you got blocking on the outside. This is the first guy he sees. And you know CP with his ability to get to the end zone, gets in the zone, and another big-time play. And this is why the Falcons were so successful running the football because of what they did early in the ball game. Let's go back to the Saints game. Here is a stretch zone run, a staple in this Arthur Smith offense, but it's all because of the blocking why this is a big 15-yard run. Now watch these big guys up front. This interior guy do such a great job of blocking. You'll get a nice reach double team here. You're going to get a nice double team here. You're going to get the block of Pitts on the edge, and you're going to get Hesse come out, and he's going to block this guy. All right, the guy I want you to watch is Caleb McGarry here. Watch. He's going to have a good job of sealing this guy on the edge, but he also does a good job of getting up to the next level, which is this guy. He's going to want to shoot this gap right through here. Now, as the play gets started, here's the stretch zone action. Good job of getting reach block on him. Pitts is going to seal here. You got a nice head up block by Parker Hesse on the backside. He's got the seal in his backside as well. Look how deep these safeties are. Look how deep this corner is. Now the stretch continues. Now you saw as soon as he started to shoot this gap. Watch this guy shoot this gap and watch Caleb McGarry come off his initial block, boom, and picks him up. If he doesn't make that block, this play is a gain of probably zero or negative yardage. Boom, come off, gets just a piece of him. All you need, now you got the seal block 
from Pitts because they did a nice double team. Now you got another kick out block here on the edge by Hesse. And look at the hole that's created. Look at this hole. Seal. Seal. Nice job of sealing. Good job of getting his hips turned inside. Now you got your receiver on the corner. This is the first guy that has a chance to get to him. And he's 15 yards away. This is created by the guys up front. And this is why this Falcons offense has been so efficient running the football because of the, all the double teams and good blocking from up front. Watch it one more time from the backside. Watch this guy shoot the gap. Boom. But you see him. He's, got, he's, he's engaged. Now he comes off, seals this guy, and creates the edge that you want. And now that's a nice running lane for Cordell Patterson to get through another big 15-yard game for the Falcons.